welcome back to our channel. This is Lindy from Love Create Celebrate, where we share home renovation and DIY videos. Today I'm sharing some holiday DIYs with you from the dollar store. I am joining the holiday DIY and home decor playlist hosted by Christina at thediymummy.com. And today I'm sharing six great projects using dollar store items. I actually usually buy enough supplies to make about six projects and end up having two or three that fail completely. <laughs> so this time I was really surprised to have six projects that I really like and wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy them. Here they are. So the first project I am going to DIY involves these gold trees that I found at our local dollar store. I got two of them. I actually really love the shape and design of them, but I'm not a fan of the yellowy gold color and I'm not a fan of the glitter that gets literally everywhere. I mean, look at the table underneath these trees. So I decided I was going to revamp them a little bit. So the first thing I wanted to do was try to remove the balls that are on the tops of these trees. I think they were meant to be holding the strings together, but there's so much glue that you really don't need them on there. So I used some wire cutters, I pulled the bulb off, and then I used the wire cutters again to cut the tip that was left over off of the top. Once I was done that, I used a really stiff wire bristle brush and just brushed along all of the edges and sides of the strings that were surrounding these trees. These guys were just covered in glitter and I did not want that much glitter all over my house and I didn't want to have to cover it all up so I wanted to scrape as much of it off of the trees as I could. Once the glitter was gone, I gave them a quick coat of a glossy spray paint to give them a new, more modern look. I didn't want to go too heavy because I did want what was left of the glitter to kind of shine through, but I ended up doing one coat of spray paint on the inside and two coats on the outside. I chose to use black because I love black in all of my decor, but you could use a really nice festive red or green or a beautiful white and it would all look good. And here's how they look on our desk shelves at the top. I love them. I think they look completely new and modern and I couldn't be happier with this DIY. The next thing I picked up from our local dollar store were these packs of felt trees. And these are my colors. So as soon as I saw these felt trees, I grabbed them. When I realized how thick the felt was, I knew exactly what I was gonna do, which is make these felt trees into trees that stand on their own. So I unpackaged all of these thick felt trees and grabbed a ruler and pencil because the first thing I wanted to do was try to find where the center of the tree was. Once I knew where the center was, I marked it with my pencil and then grabbed some scissors to cut a line up to that center point. I actually wanted to cut slightly past the mark I had made so that the trees will overlap nicely. I did the same thing with the other half of my tree, first finding the center point and then cutting a line down the center, but this time instead of cutting from the bottom, I cut from the top. Once I had both sides cut and I knew that they overlapped by a little bit, I used my scissors to widen the cut that I had already made. I tried to cut it so it was about the same thickness as the felt itself so that the trees would nicely slide into one another. I did this on both sides and then interlocked the trees and they went together perfectly. When I was ready to do my next set of trees, I just used the first set as a template and cut right along the same lines. So all three of my trees did stand up on their own, but I still decided to glue the edges just to make sure that they would stay secure. 
I used one of my favorite glues for this, which I like a lot better than hot glue guns because it doesn't burn my fingers but dries just as fast. And I'll link to that glue in the description below. It only took a couple minutes to glue the tops and bottoms of all three of my trees and then they were good to go. I think these turned out so cute. They're perfect modern Christmas decor. Right now they're just decorating our desk area, but I think I might actually end up putting them in my tablescape because they would look so cute in the center of a table. The next thing I found at our dollar store was these little nutcrackers, which I loved right away. Honestly, if I was using natural woods in my decor this year, I might have just left these exactly as they were because they are so cute already, but I decided to do a really quick DIY with them. I'd seen some really beautiful modern looking white nutcrackers in stores for a lot more money than the money I spent at the dollar store, so I decided to try my hand at making some of those. Honestly, I can barely call this one a DIY because all I did was spray paint them, but I really think it made for a totally new look on these nutcrackers. They needed about three coats of spray paint total, and you have to be very careful to actually turn them upside down and sideways to get inside all of the little wooden cracks. These little white nutcrackers also ended up as some of our desk decor and I love how they look on these shelves. So cute for the holidays. Another item that I picked up from the dollar store was one of these simple faux evergreen wreaths. My plan right away was to cut this wreath up to create a whole bunch of mini wreaths and I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. I started by cutting off all of the individual evergreen twigs. You only need about five for each wreath, but I figured since I was cutting, I would just keep going. I used wire cutters to cut off each of the individual branches, and be warned, this gets to be a pretty messy job as all of the little green pieces fall off. When you're ready, you can start attaching all of the individual pieces. Since all of the twigs are wired, all I did to attach them was twist each end around each other. I used five little twigs for each evergreen wreath and that was about the perfect amount for the size of wreath that I wanted. Once the wreaths were done, I didn't particularly like how wild they looked. So I got a pair of scissors and trimmed all of the edges on all of the sides, including the inner circle. Using all the pieces from my faux wreath, I was able to make about 12 mini wreaths. When you're done, you can decorate them with anything from ribbons to string to name tags. There are so many great uses for these little wreaths and one of the ideas I loved was just adding them to gift wrap to add some character. You could also put a name tag with them or a gift tag and I think that would be adorable under the tree. Another idea I loved is using these in a tablescape. You can use them as napkin rings or you can just use them as place settings with names or holiday themed bows on them. For our next DIY, our dollar store always has a few really great wooden items and when I found these little wooden ornaments, I had to pick them up. I also picked up some wooden letters, which you may have already seen in that tablescape photo, and some wooden numbers. And finally, I picked up just some wired black jute string. This project was super simple. All I did was use the letters and numbers from the dollar store to create my own new modern ornaments. I loved the idea of making these personalized. You can put names on them or just simple things like first for a baby's first Christmas or 2019 to mark the year. I used my favorite fast drying glue to glue all the letters in place and I'll link that glue in the description below. 
I also replaced the bright red ribbon with that black wired jute and I just love how these look on our Christmas tree. My last DIY involves some chunky yarn that I found at our local store and a really simple felt tree skirt. What I wanted to do for this final DIY was just revamp that felt plain kind of tacky tree skirt by adding some pattern and texture to it. All I did for this project was use a hot glue gun to add yarn all the way along the outside of the tree skirt. The first row is the hardest one to do and doesn't stay as nicely so I did end up having to glue it a little bit to the second row once I got there. Once I got to the end of the row, I just turned the yarn and went right back around to the other side. Then I continued this pattern all the way up the tree skirt. It turned out that three bags of yarn was exactly enough to fill this felt tree skirt, so it was meant to be. To be honest, I wasn't sure if this DIY was going to work out until the very end and I actually love the texture that it puts under the tree, although I wouldn't recommend this one if you have cats at home. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you guys liked those projects. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And as always, hit that bell so you can be notified of more great DIY and renovation videos. Thanks for watching! Thank you.